afternoon, good evening class. This is Jeffrey Govan with a persuasive speech on emotional support animals and their benefits. All right, what is a, what is a support animal? They provide comfort, reduce loneliness, help individuals manage their symptoms, and improve the uh, daily functioning of life. Emotional support animals may be helpful for individuals at home, at their job, or even in a school setting. What is the difference between an emotional support animal and service animal? As it, as, it, as it name suggests, emotional support animals provide comfort and support to their handler. They create special, special creatures so they are not confused with therapy animals who often work with a group of people. Say in a care, uh, most emergency support animals are usually assigned to one handler and will accompany them in social and public places. What is a service animal? Service animals are on, on the other hand, are trained for specific tasks. They help provide individuals with physical, mental, and emotional disabilities. This includes uh, conditions such as blindness, hearing impairment, physical disability, learning disabilities, or mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress syndrome, or schizophrenia. <clears throat> All right, this is some of the laws about emotional support animals. By law, an employer does not need to accommodate emotional support animals because they are not protected under the American Disability Act. However, it is not against the law for workplaces to allow emotional support animals. So if you express the need, if you express, yeah, express the need for your emotional support animal at work, your employer may make an exception. There, are, there has been a rise in the number of employees allowing emotional support animals as they see the value and its impact it has on its employees. Any questions? <clears throat> 